What's good, my kneesies? Welcome back to another episode of Life of Keezy. Appreciate you guys for joining me today, man. Before we get started, make sure you guys like. If you haven't already, smash that like button for the kid, man, all right? Subscribe. Play with that notification bell a little bit. And share this mug, man. Get it out to as many people as, as possible, man. Your friends who might need to hear this information, send it to them too. All right, I appreciate it in advance. Get that algorithm juking for the kid. Oh, and another thing before we get started, for those of you who have uh, <clears throat> commented or DM'd, you know, asking about, you know, what's my IG? My IG, man, uh, is in the channel art, bottom right, and um, it's also in the description. So I know you guys ain't doing your due diligence, all right? It's also in the description. <laughs> and it also flashes at the beginning of all my videos at the bottom. Voila. <laughs> all right? So make sure you guys do your due diligence, man, before you ask questions. Because most of your questions are, are, are also answered in the video, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you watch an entire video um, and soaking it in, man. And then you have less questions. So let's get into the reason for this video. So I've been getting a ton of DMs from, uh, from kids, uh, pretty much ages anywhere from like 12, 11, 11, 12 to like 18, 17. Um, and they usually go something like this. Keezy, how do I get to the NBA? Keezy, how do I go overseas? Keezy, how do I find an agent? Or Keezy, I can't find an agent, man. Can you help me? And for me, the answer is simple as hell, man. If you become the best player that you possibly be can become, then these questions will not even need an answer. If that alone doesn't make sense for you, let me dive a little deeper, all right? If you're from the US, are you the best player in your city? Are you the best player in your state? Are you the best player in the country? And if not the best, one of the best. Are you playing middle school basketball? Are you playing high school basketball? Are you playing AAU basketball? And for those of you who aren't from America, outside the US, are you the best or one of the best in your age group? You know what I mean? Under 15, under 16, under 17. Are you the best or one of the best? Are you even playing for a club's when I say club, about most people in Europe know the club, uh, professional basketball teams, youth program. Are you playing for one of these teams? If your answer to any of these questions are no, I'm not sure, I don't know, or anything other than yes, I'm one of the best players, if not the best player in my country, in my city, in my state, in my whatever. You got some work to do, champ. So for me, my definition pretty much, uh, when you become a pro man, it pretty much means that you have proven yourself at various levels that you are capable of you know, performing consistently at the highest level against the highest competition. If you have not proven yourself as the best player or one of the best players, wherever the hell you from, bro, or sis, <laughs> These, these questions are questions that I feel shouldn't even be on your mind. You should be training, you know, studying the game, getting as good as you possibly can. And if your best then becomes better than the best of others around you, these questions will answer themselves. Meaning, you won't have to ask me EK or Keezy or shit, whatever you want to call me. You wouldn't have to ask me, how do I get an agent? Because agents will be flooding your motherfucking parents' phones. Excuse my French for really young children. Agents will be flooding your phones because they see the potential and they see that you're capable of playing at the professional level. Then you won't have to ask me questions like, Keezy, how do I go overseas? Because these same agents who are now flooding your phones will then be bringing you opportunities to further your career because they see your potential. Because you have proven that you are better than everybody else around you. And that is clear as day. There's no debate. I'm one of the best. So they're gonna, they're gonna do the work to get you to where you wanna go. It's really not rocket science, guys. Um, 
any employer, be it basketball team or some huge company, Fortune 500 or whatever, they want the best employee they possibly can get. And if you are not the best, better believe that you're not getting the call. That's just how it goes. They're not going to reach out to you to, and they want you to come join their team or their business. They want the best. So become the best and they'll come find you. So like I said, man, become the best player that you possibly can. Stop worrying about things that majority of you really, you know, if you want to be realistic with yourself, really aren't ready for right now. Because if you were ready, these questions would already be answered without you having to ask me. So focus on becoming a better player. Study the game. Build your basketball IQ. Become the best player where you're from. And everything else will fall into play for you. I guarantee it. Of course, dreaming of the day that you become a professional basketball player can be beneficial, can be great motivation, but without the work to put yourself ahead of everybody around you, then those dreams will never be realized. And you just wasted a lot of time that you could have been doing something else in, you know, in terms of your thought process. Put your head down and grind the small accomplishments, the all city, all county, all state, all region, you know, FIBA under 16 MVP, FIBA whatever under whatever MVP. Grind the small accomplishments until they get you to your major goal. You know, a lot of people, they just want to, the instant gratification. And, and instant gratification, man, is not going to get you where you need to go in life. Somebody telling you uh, or, or somebody just giving you something from the jump is not going to get you where you need. It, it makes you complacent. Instant gratification makes people complacent more than anything. Like, um, it's a slow grind. Like, those of you guys who know my story, who watched all my, all my uh, Keezy Odyssey videos, um, and then, you know, I still have to post, you know, the, 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 the pre before the Odyssey, before the Odyssey move when I was, you know, a young kid. The grind is different, man. And when you fully indulge or submerge yourself in the grind, everything you achieve later matters, you know, is, is, is it's on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't just look for the instant gratification, man. Don't, you know, you haven't done anything and then you want to Asian. You haven't done anything. You haven't showed anybody you can play, but you want to become professional. Grind your way, man. Show people that you're capable first. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be, you got to be real with yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have, you're not even playing middle school basketball, or you're not playing on your high school basketball team, or you're not playing AAU, realistically, how do you expect to become a professional player? You know what I'm saying? Like, the opportunity is not just going to be, be given to you while you're at home playing video games. You have to put the work in. You have to grind. And that's how you get to, that's, that's how you really get to where you want to go. Shit don't happen overnight. Even for the best, LeBron James, shit don't just happen overnight. It was a grind. You know what I'm saying? And you got to love the grind, man. Don't look for the instant gratification, man. Don't look for me to send you some names of an agent or some shit when you haven't done anything. These agents not even going to reply to you. You know what I'm saying? So put the work in. Make them come find you. But once again, man, I appreciate you guys for watching. Before you get up out of here, remember that merch is on the way. My cloth is different. I'm cut from something different than you niggas, man. This is the most velvet motherfucking alpaca in the inside mook. I'm, I'm, it's a different type of cloth I'm cut from. I'm not like the rest of you, all right? So understand that it's coming. For serious inquiries, make sure you DM me. You know where the Instagram at now. If you didn't before, you know where it's at. All right? So make sure you DM me uh, with serious inquiries because the merch is on the way. And before you get up out of here, make sure you guys smash that like button one time. If you haven't already, subscribe. I appreciate you all. All 2,690 of you guys. You know, we slowly, climb, we so, we slowly climbing, man. And, uh... Like I said, it's a grind. It's not about instant gratification, man. It's a grind. 
I appreciate every last one of you guys up to this point. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully sooner down the, down the line, it grows. But I'm going to keep putting the work in until it gets to where I want it to get. You know what I'm saying? It's a slow grind. <laughs> it's like cooking motherfucking roast beef. Dude. You can't just put a motherfucking roast beef in and it be done in a minute. You got to throw that mug in a slow cooker, cook that mug all day long, and get that young tenderoni. But, um... Make sure y'all guys play with that notification bell, man. Turn that guy on. Share this video, man, to anybody else who needs to hear it. And uh, I appreciate you guys in advance, man. And I'll see you guys next time. Keezy out. Peace.